Welcome to this episode of the Blue White Academy. My name is Mina and today I'm going to demonstrate how to replace the tubing on our line of A1, M1 parasaltic metering pumps. In this video, I will demonstrate how to replace the tubing for the A1, M1 parasaltic metering pumps and general maintenance to keep your pump running optimally. But before we replace the tubing, it's essential to practice safety. Always wear safety glasses and gloves when replacing the tubing. Some other items we recommend are a degreaser, a rag, a scrub sponge, silicone oil lubricant, high temp grease, and a brush. Safety tip. Be sure to relieve pressure in the discharge side of the tubing before performing any maintenance. To replace the tubing on the A1 M1 peristaltic metering pump, remove the three thumb screws to the pump head cover by hand. Next, remove the pump head cover. Run the pump at 6 RPM. While the pump head is rotating, gently remove the bottom adapter and follow the pump head's rotation while gently pulling the rest of the tube out. Stop the pump. Next, remove the roller assembly and the washer behind it. Now we will clean the pump. Begin by cleaning the roller assembly. Remove grease, chemical, or debris from the roller assembly with a degreaser and rag. Once clean, place a drop of silicone oil at the end of the rollers to lubricate them and wipe away any excess oil. Verify that each roller is free spitting. Any seizing of these rollers will cause extra friction and added wear and tear to your tube. Next, use a degreaser and rag to clean any grease, chemicals, or debris from the interior of the pump head and motor shaft. A scrub sponge can remove any tough buildup inside the pump head. This buildup can lead to added tube wear if left unmaintained. The A1 M1 has an optical TFD sensor. Be sure it is clean from any chemicals or debris. Once the pump head is clean, apply high temp grease directly to the shaft with a brush. This allows the roller assembly to be easily removed during the pump's next maintenance. After cleaning, reinstall the spacer onto the shaft. Reinstall the roller assembly into the pump head and run the pump at 6 RPM. Insert the tube adapter in the bottom slot of the pump head. Carefully follow the roller's motion while inserting the new tubing. Use the tube insulation tool to assist with the tube assembly. Insert the tube adapter into the top slot of the pump head. Stop the pump and reinstall the pump head cover and fasten the three screws by hand. We recommend cleaning the pump head and roller assembly every time there is a tube replacement. Proper maintenance will extend the tube life and reduce maintenance costs. And your pump is good to go. For further questions or assistance, please reach out to us at customer service at blue-white.com. Thank you for watching this episode of the Blue White Academy. For more information, please visit blue-white.com.